Hi, yeah. Um, welcome to this video about knowing your brand. Now, I write a lot of blog posts um, about planning and about content creation. Um, and in nearly all of these blog posts, I write the words, know your brand. And to be honest, even as I write them, I sort of think, what does that mean to people? Do people even know what on earth I'm talking about? Because if you are at a situation where you don't really know your brand, you perhaps haven't got a deliberate brand, you would maybe look at that and think, well, what on earth does she mean, know your brand? So this video is will answer two questions. What on earth do I mean by know your brand? And what do you need to know about your brand? So what do I mean by know your brand? Um, there is a very famous quote about branding that says your brand is what people say about you when you are not in the room and you, the point of what you need to know about your brand is what you want people to say about you what do you want to be famous for when people are talking about you what do you want them to say about you um, and the point of a brand is for it to be consistent the point of your brand is not for everybody to like you so it doesn't matter if people like the fact that you maybe um, are very passionate about recy using recycled goods in your products, say, for instance. Um, for some people, people would say, well, what's the point in that? It just makes it expensive. Other people, that would be a huge selling point because it's something that they relate to and they would buy from you because you have that passion about using recycled goods. Um, so that is the point of your brand. The point of your brand, to know your brand, is to be consistent. Consistency is very, very important in branding because consistency is what makes people trust you. It's the same as if you meet a person and the person is... Um, you know, maybe the first time you meet them, they're very pleasant. The second time you meet them, they're a little bit off. The third time you meet them, well, yeah, they're going back to being nice again. But eventually, you don't trust this person because you never quite know exactly how they're going to be with you. You don't know, um, you can't predict how they're going to be and how they're going to behave. And this is the same with your brand online. It has to be consistent to make people trust you because there is so much competition online. There are so many other people out there. People aren't going to hang around and, and get to know you and work out if you are worth getting to know and trust. If you are unpredictable just once or twice, that'll be like, right, okay, this is weird. I'll go find somebody else that is going to give me more consistent messages. So that is why we need to know your brand. It's about consistency and consistency builds trust. So next question, what do you need to know about your brand? Now, this basically breaks down into six different things. The first thing is your brand's character. Um, so think of you, I like to think of my brand as a person. So my brand's character, um, it's, it gives lots of information, it's very in-depth. Um, it is, I like to think that my brand is helpful. Um, my brand is, I am an introvert. And I guess it's my fairly introvert brand. I'm not particularly loud or OTT with everything. Um, and I think that that directness, um, that comes from my introvertness as well. Um, so you think about what do you, how would you just, what do you want people to describe your brand, your brand's personality? Um, um, is it a calming personality? Is it an invigorating sort of personality? Um, so that's the first thing, your brand's character. This then relates to the second thing, which is your brand's tone of voice. Um, when you are on, on video, um, when you're writing your blog posts, perhaps if you do a podcast, um, when you send your emails, every single time you communicate with your audience, with your customers, you have to use the same tone of voice. And this tone of voice has to relate to your brand's character. So you can't decide that your brand's character is going to be a very nurturing, very relaxing, calming character. If you then write blog posts that are quite negative, um, that use a lot of negative words, um, it's not going to, it's not going to match, you know, it's not going to relate. Um, you can't come and, you know, you, if your social media is maybe quite aggressive, um, that's going to confuse people if you're trying to put across that your brand is, you know, has a nurturing, calming character. 
The next thing, again, that follows on from tone of voice and your personality is how it treats others, is the experience that you, that you give your audience. So this will be a similar thing to your tone of voice. Um, so say, again, I'm just keeping with the nurturing example. Um, so if somebody's got hold of you, maybe they've commented on a blog post or a social media post, or maybe they've even sent you an email. Um, you know, if you then ignore this person, that's obviously not very nurturing. That's not very nice anyway, whatever your brand is, you know, whatever sort of a brand you want to be. Um, but do you put back an email that's that's full of information, that's um, very personal, very friendly, or do you put back an email that's, that's very quick, that's very to the point, um, that gives a little bit of information out? Um, you know, this just sort of bullet points, the immediate things that um, that people have, that the, your, whoever has emailed you has asked you, um, or do you go over and above? Do you give them a little bit more information? This is all the things, this is the experience you want to create when people are interacting with your brand online. So that follows on from your tone of voice and your personality. Um, and the next thing with your brand is its image. Its image is its style, basically what it looks like. So for your website, this will be things like the colors you use and the fonts you use, the photography you use. And this then expands into using those same fonts and colors and image styles in your social media, across your emails, and in your products, across your product packaging, or if you sell digital products, you know, the way you put them together, the images you use, that sort of thing. Um, the next thing is very important as well, is its ethics and beliefs, which I touched on when I was talking about the personality. So if you have very strong values um, about, say, I mean, these could be environmental values, it could be very strong values about how you treat people and how what you believe about people. Um, one of my strong beliefs is that as entrepreneurs, we do so much better by following our own paths, um, which is why I identify more with being with coaching than offering courses. Um, so that sort of thing, it's all, it's all related. Um, so yeah, so what are your beliefs about people? What belief are you trying to encourage your audience to believe? Um, what are you trying to make them believe about themselves or about the world around them? What beliefs does your brand believe in? What values does it have that you want to then communicate with your audience? And then the next thing, number six, um, is your ideal audience themselves. Um, so how are, does your brand relate to your audience? How does your audience relate to your brand mainly? Um, so you want to be able to use your brand to attract your audience, to put your message across to your audience, to get people to your website um, for you to work with as your clients that believe in the same things as you, that like the same mm -hmm. things as you, that relate to the same things as you. Um, your brand is your way of attracting the people that you really, really want to work with. You get your brand right, if you know what your brand wants to say and how it wants to say it, you will end up working with clients that you really, really like, with blog readers that you really, really relate to, um, customers that really love your stuff because you will be able to make things that they really, really like. And that is the point of your brand. So to know your brand is to be consistent, is to know your audience, and is to be trustworthy. And that's the reason, you know, so that my two reasons for knowing your brand is to create a consistent brand and to create trust. And the six things that you need to know about your brand is your brand's character, its personality, its tone of voice that you use, the way it treats others, the experience that it creates for others, what it looks like, its style and its image, and what its ethics and beliefs and values are, and who your ideal clients are. And the thing is, with all of these six things, it all has to be relevant. They all have to, they're all mixed in together. Your brand is one living, breathing thing. So think of it as a person, it doesn't matter what you think of it as, but it's a living, breathing thing and everything has to match. There is no point having a personality that doesn't match with its image. 
so that is my point for today um, if you enjoyed this video please subscribe and i will be covering those six points in more detail over the next few videos that i just release um, so if you subscribe you will get notifications of when those videos are released or you can just come and join us at www.thebadassbusinessmum.com um, where you will also be getting notifications of the new blog posts and you'll be able to read about all the other things I've been doing on the blog. Thank you very much for watching.